The Beige Book, the collection of anecdotes from across the nation, the Fed compiles his economic activity is weakened across all 12 districts. The Beige Book says there is wide, widespread pessimism in the economic outlook and consumer spending has declined in most districts and including sectors of retail, autos and tourism. Manufacturing is slowing in most districts and the real estate remains weak while commercial real estate is slowing. Let's take a look at the credit picture nationwide according to the Beige Book. Credit conditions are tight across the 12 districts. Chicago Fed says banks are looking increasingly at a discount window and brokerage CD markets for their own deposits there, lending stable or lower for consumers and businesses, that's the one good sign in there. On the labor market, labor market conditions are said to be weakening. Capital spending reduced due to uncertainty about the economy and some credit concerns. There are some bright spots, though, a few of them, though. Agriculture and natural resources, two economic bright spots, according to the base book. Inflation did moderate in September. There is some pass along, though, still going on in the economy of higher input prices. Demand for skilled labor does also remain strong in several districts. And Chicago and Kansas City tell us that spending on heavy machinery remains strong. But but otherwise, Aaron, uh, what we're seeing in this base book are tight credit conditions showing up across the nation and affecting business and the economy. Aaron? Steve Leisman, thank you very much. And sure. we want to bring uh, Philip Sheringham in from uh, People's Bank, People's United Financial, to talk about this from a banker's perspective. And we appreciate your joining us, Philip. Steve, sure. let me just ask you a question to clarify this for the viewers as they try yeah. to suss out the, the importance of the data. How long, over what time period was the survey taken and, and over what dates? It's the six weeks ending October 6th, so I think the last one was September 3rd, Aaron, so mm -hmm. that's about when they'd start collecting the data or, or, or before, before that. So it's uh, the, most of September and the first week of October. So you do catch uh, the, the so-called stoppage that we saw the heart after of, the crisis. Exactly. The heart of this survey would, would be in that September 18th period where mm -hmm. things in credit markets and the economy started to get very bad. Philip Sheringham, as, as a lender... I know you have been one of, one of the lenders that kept mortgages on your books, did not have a lot of the problems that many others did. But what is your reaction to one headline that Steve highlighted, uh, which stood out to me, which is a slowdown in commercial real estate? Are you seeing it? Uh, well, I'm not surprised, first of all. I've been uh, predicting this for a while, as you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we're seeing it uh, to a certain extent, but uh, not so much uh, in our neck of the woods, which is New England. As you know, New England uh, is basically doing a little better, I think, than the, uh, the rest of the country at this point. So... Uh, um, we haven't seen a huge impact yet. Where, where are the bright spots for you, Philip, in New England? The bright spots are probably still in the uh, manufacturing uh, area where um, uh, quite a few companies are still benefiting from the relatively weak dollar um, and, and that, that's helping them uh, with orders from, uh, from abroad. Steve Leisman, I, maybe, maybe this is just a, a, a gut reaction that isn't accurate, but I thought this could have been worse. Well, you know, Aaron, I went back and I looked at the base books from the 01 recession. Mm -hmm. This reads a lot like them, except there's one thing. When you read the banking and finance sections of the base books from the 01 recession, mm -hmm. what you find is that people were refining out of mortgages and credit was not particularly tight. Maybe loan demand was down, maybe businesses were more cautious. But the thing that separates this from the 01 recession are the widespread tight credit conditions. And the thing that really interested me here was this Chicago comment that banks are now looking increasingly to the discount window and to the brokerage CD market uh, right. in order to find liquidity and, uh, and, and, and deposits. Philip Sheringham, what is your view on, on something that is getting increasing coverage, and that is, well, as the government is perhaps successful in its efforts to reliquidate the system, the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is going up. How big of a concern is that? Well, uh, not, not a huge concern because on a relative uh, basis, uh, mortgage rates, while they're going up, are still uh, pretty low historically, if you will. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't think that's a huge uh, concern. I mean, basically... Uh, demand for, for uh, uh, mortgage lending is, is down overall, as you know, given the state of the real estate market. And uh, uh, I think I'd be more concerned about the, the shape of the economy in general. Steve Leisman, one other thing you highlighted was a bright spot in agriculture. Do you right now, sussing out where we stand, especially with the drop that we've seen in some ag prices, think that that will change? Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to continue or the natural. Now, I mean, oil right. prices remain relatively high, but they've come down a bit. I'm not sure that's going to be a bright spot. But then again, you know, if that ends up being less of a bright spot, at least there's some kickback. As you guys have highlighted on this show, absolutely to your credit here, this idea that there is a bit of a tax cut, so to speak, when it comes to lower oil prices, that will help ease the pain of what's happening now in the economy on a broader mm -hmm. basis. So that's very important that uh, oil prices are coming down. That's going to end up to the consumer. The question that has to be asked, 
crisis and what kind of mood is the consumer going to be given what's out there to spend this money. Ultimately, I think they might end up increasing their savings rather than their spending. And Philip Sheringham, are you seeing evidence of that? And as part of that, how long do you think uh, this current, I guess well, let's just use the word recession, for the country will last? Well, I can't be overly optimistic there. I think it's going to last a while longer. I would say yeah, uh, probably another year. Another year. Yep. All right. Well, Philip Sheringham, thank you so much. We always appreciate your taking the time.